y'all, you have made it. We are here, the last week of the 2018 Wadapalooza online qualifier. The last workout is a repeat. Wad 7 is presented by Born Primitive. Event 7 is a repeat workout from 2017. It's called Death By. Every two minutes, on the two minutes, you'll do eight burpee box jump overs, eight hang power snatches, and eight thrusters. This one's a doozy. Week three, Wad 7 is presented by Born Primitive. At the sound of three, two, one, go, the athlete will perform eight burpee box jump overs. For athletes with lower impairments, they may burpee box step over. During this movement, chest and thighs must touch the ground at the bottom of the burpee, with both feet touching the box before landing their feet on the opposite side. After their eight burpee box jump overs, the athlete will then perform eight power snatches or eight hang power snatches if they're single leg adaptive. The power snatch will be called a successful rep if the bar touches the floor to the start and finishes locked out overhead in a snatch grip, or from the hang in the case of the single legged adaptive. The barbell must finish directly over the midline with the athlete standing at full extension. The bar may not be clean and jerked. Weight percentages will change for upper arm athletes. Please see the written description. Finally, after the eight power snatch, the athlete will perform eight push press. Please note, athletes may not re-dip or jerk the bar to an overhead position. The push press will start each rep touching the shoulders and collarbone and finish with a press overhead, arms locked out, bar over the midline, and standing at full extension. Whatever is left within the two minute clock will be treated as rest. Our seated athletes will complete eight plyo push-ups over the plate, eight alternating dumbbell snatches, and eight dumbbell cleans. They'll be performing the workout on the floor. At the call of three, two, one, go, athletes will perform eight plyo push-ups over a plate. During this movement, chest and thighs must touch the ground on the bottom of the plyo push-up, and both hands must touch the plate before landing back on the opposite side. After the eight plyo push-ups over the plate, athletes will perform eight alternating dumbbell snatch. Dumbbell snatch will be called a successful rep if both heads of the dumbbell touch the floor to start and finish locked out overhead. The dumbbell must be directly over the midline and the athlete seated at full extension. Please note the dumbbell may not be clean and jerked and the reps must alternate. If an athlete fails a rep, they must repeat it until a successful rep has been recorded with that arm before alternating. Weight percentages will change for higher injury athletes. Please see the written description. Lastly, after the eight dumbbell alternating snatch, the athletes will perform eight dumbbell cleans. Athletes must start with the dumbbell heads touching the floor and finish with the dumbbell heads touching the shoulder with elbow up. Higher injury athletes may support against the wall or box, but other athletes may not have assistance. This workout will be scored as the total number of rounds and reps completed before getting caught by the two minute clock. For full division breakdown, movement standards, and scorecards, head to wadapalooza.com.